In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to run Y cross out of the tight offset tight end formation. If you wanna get my entire ebook on this offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. It's gonna get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And we're taking a look at the tight offset specifically in the Saints playbook. And we're gonna show you how to run Y cross. Now Y cross or, or cross is one of my favorite concepts in the game. And we're actually gonna flip the tight offset and we're gonna utilize to play PA shot seams. Now you can run this out of other plays in the formation stick. You can run this out of really any play, honestly. Um, all you really need is the fade and the out. So like slot outs is another good play uh, to utilize this, but we can really just create this concept um, on the field. And we're gonna do that with PA shot seams. So again, just flip your play. And the setup for this is actually really simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to essentially slant our left side receiver. We're going to then put our uh, little slot receiver on a crosser. And then what I like to do with this specific uh, concept is we're going to actually uh, just streak George Kittle up the seam. And so we're going to kind of flip flop the fade and the out. If you wanted to, you could put your tight end on the out and you could streak CeeDee Lamb or you could streak George Kittle. That's kind of up to you. Now, this concept can also be ran at a lot of different depths. And what I want to really introduce you to is this idea of this motion slant being a great little check down read. It specifically gets man coverage because it's technically a short route because it's going to get open about eight to nine yards. Um, and then, but it's still going to get really good separation. Now you could also run this play out of it and you could run the cross concept, uh, basically to this backside. And if you don't have hot route master or slot apprentice, go ahead and just put the slant out there. Go ahead and have two slants and you'll be surprised at actually how effective the slant routes really are, uh, for Y cross. You don't have to have the deep 30 yard crosser to run Y cross. All you really need is this out route two backside crossers or a crosser and a dig. Another way we can run this, if you don't want to utilize the motion uh, slant, is you can let him set and put him on a smart route of dig. And it's still the same basic concept. We're going fade to out to crosser to interception <laughs> uh, or to dig, right? That's the, that's the progression uh, of the play. So you can run this both directions and uh, you could run it in a lot of different ways. For example, here we have this really good clear out route to George Kittle and this out route to C. Lamb. So what we could do is we could take the slot apprentice instead of putting him on a crosser because we know that runs a little deeper. Let's put Tyreek Hill on a post and let's go ahead and motion out that slant. And you're going to see it's the same basic concept. It's just breaking at different breaks. It's actually much better against man coverage, as you can see. So this is a couple different variations of this and how to utilize it um, specifically to beat man. But what I want to also do is show you how this is such a really good play uh, against zone. Now, the last setup that I showed you here, just running out of PA shot seams and running it like this, this is really good against zone because this corner route pulls every zone back and you can throw that in the pocket that it's going to leave open underneath that play. Now, the one thing that I do wanna quickly point out about, about zone is if you are gonna run this play against zone, I really think it's important to run your crosser from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field. So you could that could mean running it, you know, from left to right or right to left based off of where you're at on the field. So what you'll notice here is if we run it like this, um, with with Kittle, I would definitely put him on a fade. Um, but what you're going to see here is the zones will kind of suction to him, and it leaves that crosser open underneath. And again, you can put CeeDee Lamb on the fade, or you could put George Kittle on the fade. That's kind of up to you. Uh, in tight, it's a little different than in other sets. And the main reason why it's different is because of the fact that, you know, both receivers are, in essence, kind of in the same spot. Uh, practically on the field. So you could do something like this, and then you could motion out Kirk, of course, to get that little backside check down. And you're gonna see here that your post is still going to get clearance uh, on that side of the field. Now, if I was to flip everything and I was gonna run my crosser to the wide side of the field, you're gonna see here that this is gonna actually be fairly problematic, specifically against a baseline press uh, type of cover four approach. What you're gonna notice is this fade is not gonna be able to clear out that outside quarter and you're going to have that's that guy able to actually play that that route combo so kind of important make sure you're running your crosser or your post or your slant 
from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field, whatever you're running tight. Um, that's a super practical little tip. Now, I also want to show you this concept with the slant. So the slant, I think, is super underrated running it like this. This initial slant route is super good. You're going to see, especially in zone, you're going to see it just gets in the soft spot. Most people are not going to have a zone in that pocket. Again, what we're talking about here is as people start to set zone drops uh, to try to defend specific things, they're going to drop a 30-yard cloud on the field. When they start to drop 30-yard clouds on the field, that's where this initial setup where we have these two slants the slants are going to go, they're going to cross the field, and they're going to get open, you know, at about 14, 15 yards and kind of get in that soft spot just like that. So the slants can really open up things for you. But this is how I like to run the cross concept out of the Saints tight. You can do this out of anything. It's an extremely versatile concept, but it spaces the field really, really well. And that motion slant kind of gets into a really soft spot against zone and man coverage. It's one of the better check down routes in the game. So make sure that you're utilizing this, this cross concept. And if you want to get my entire tight offset, tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. You'll get access to all of our ebooks by becoming a member. The link is down in the description of the video.